At present, China and India are in negotiation and communication through diplomatic and military channels to resolve the border situation. But the threat posed to India by the Chinese PLA's huge buildup along the LAC, which is the de facto border between the two countries, had not abated. Even after the two sides mutually evacuated soldiers from both banks of Pingong So Lake and Gogra Post in February and August 2021. India's Chief of Army Staff, General M. M. Naravane, stated that the threat in eastern Ladakh by no means diminished, and that the Indian Army will continue to deal with the Chinese military in a firm and resolute manner. He made the comment during a news conference in New Delhi because the 14th round of discussions to end the 21-month standoff in eastern Ladakh failed to produce a quick breakthrough. The meeting between the two parties was for the complete disengagement or troop pullout from the hot springs sector. Naravane's comments on the Chinese danger in Ladakh upset China. And, a day after, Chief of Army Staff General M. M. Naravane's statement, Wang Wenven, a spokesperson for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said that it hoped relevant people in India would refrain from making unconstructive comments. General Naravane also said that war or fighting is always a last option, but that if it is imposed upon India, the country will emerge victorious. Referring to the 14th round of core commander level talks, he also said mutual disengagement took place at several locations at the LAC due to joint efforts and more such developments might happen in future. However, he mentioned infrastructural building and upgrading along the northern border continues. This comprises all weather roads and tunnels, important railway lines, extra bridges across the Brahmaputra, bridge upgrades on critical Indochina border highways, and storage for supplies, fuel, and munitions. Many efforts have been undertaken in the recent year to face any potential challenges. Also, Indian troops are keeping a close eye on PLA developments. According to General Naravane, the locations where disengagement has yet to occur, conditions have been improved adequately. He stated that India has inducted 25,000 extra troops in that area, constructing roads, tunnels and bridges, as well as a facility for munitions storage and fuel, oil and lubricants dumps. And, in relation to Pakistan, the Indian Army chief also mentioned the presence of terrorist camps along the line of control between India and Pakistan. He said, Pakistan still had camps harboring 350 to 400 terrorists, a training camps and launch pads in territories under its control across the LOC. According to him, the increased concentration of terrorists in launch pads and repeated infiltration attempts exposed Pakistan's nefarious objectives against India. In response, Pakistan's Foreign Office spokesperson stated that there is nothing new about the unfounded allegations which were a part of the malicious and anti-Pakistan propaganda. The spokesperson said that the Indian government is driven by its belligerent and expansionist agenda. It claimed that the remarks were an attempt to divert global attention from Jammu and Kashmir.